so going forward with step 10 here in step 10 we are going to enter the data of uh, third attachment path but this time we are going to uh, you know put the data of 10 and rn3 and rn3 to cm3 in the hydraulic calculation form as i already told you that the third attachment path is the path where water leaves the primary path at node cm3 and flows to 9 and 10th node okay uh, but the thing is here uh, there is a, a challenging point which you need to understand that the most challenging sprinkler between 9 and 10 is 10 so to which we must deliver the water so we choose to list the nodes for the path 10 to rn3 rn3 to cm3 we already calculated the k factor from uh, the step 9 via 9 to rn3 path so now what we are going to do is once again we are going to draw the isometric i am repeating this isometric several times so that you people should not forget this one so this is the check wall just a minute so it is going like this and here we have a cm3 and uh, we are considering node 9 here and i'm sorry here we are going to consider node 10 so our path will be path will be 10 to rn3 and then rn3 to cm3 we already got the k factor at equivalent k factor at rn3 uh, before we discuss about this particular form or the particular data just i would like to highlight you uh, that previously we have uh, calculated or entered the data for the first attachment path and third attachment path so first attachment path was 4 r n1 and we calculated the equivalent k factor and in third attachment path we calculated the 9 r n3 data along with the equivalent k factor at r n3 okay so in this slide we are going to calculate the path 10 to rn3 and rn3 to cm3 and we ignore the second attachment path why because these two paths are typical so that's the reason we ignored so the cm2 k factor at cm2 will be same as k factor at cm1 since both are same so that's the reason we ignored that one okay so now we'll move ahead uh, with this particular case just i will uh, enlarge this portion here you can see we have uh, 10 to rn3 just i will move up so the path will be 10 to rn3 so 10 to rn3 10 is at 19 feet elevation rn3 is also at the same height so the k factor here is 5.6 for the sprinkler and the flow will be 18.9 gpm which we calculated from this particular uh, formula and then uh, we have uh, nominal id 1 and actual id 1.049 and uh, here we have one t as you can uh, see that here you have t so you need to consider this t once again so we have t so the equivalent uh, length is 5 feet since the pipe size is 1 inch and then the length between uh, 10 r and 3 is 7 feet so the fitting feet is 5 feet so total will be 12 feet and here we calculated the friction loss by using Hazen Williams friction loss formula which was already explained earlier and uh, apart from that excuse me <coughs> uh, we have calculated the total pressure 11.4 psi that we have mentioned here elevation is 0 since the elevation for 10 and rn3 both are same and the friction loss will be 1.4 we have to multiply 12 by 0 0.117 so we are going to get about 1.4 so now what we need to do since we are considering the uh, you know most challenging path from 10 rn3 we are going to come back to the primary path from this isometric if you ch check here i will change the color from this uh, here 
10 rn3 and cm3 this is the primary path so now we calculated or we have come from 10 rn3 now we need to go to cm3 so rn3 cm3 also we need to ca calculate but since here we don't have any uh, sprinkler so how we will be able to know the k factor this one we already calculated in our last step when we did 9 to rn3 calculation so now you understand why we are calculating the equivalent k factor so now what uh, we will mention this equivalent k factor in the nfpa form uh, if i scroll down here now we can see rn3 to cm3 that the riser nipple to the cross main the elevation for rn3 is 19 feet this one is on 19 feet and this is 3 feet so it's below the branch line cross main is below the branch line so now cm3 is 16 feet and the k factor here you can see this is the most important point so equivalent k factor since there was no sprinkler we have calculated the equivalent k factor which is 5.5 you can check my previous video or step 9 okay so here now what we will do we will consider q equal to k root p formula to get this particular gpm flow at this particular point or node so q is equal to k root p k is now it will be 5.5 multiplied by root 12.8 psi how we got this one this one from this particular we added pt plus pe plus pf so we got 12.8 psi okay so we consider this 12.8 psi so the value is 19.7 gpm so this one we entered here then what we are doing here the size is one and a half inch okay if we are using one and a half inch so the t equivalent uh, fitting length is eight feet from nfpa 13 uh, you can refer to my video series on uh, hydraulic calculations and has in williams fr friction loss calculations you will get an idea here we the distance or uh, the riser height from cm3 to rn3 is three feet so just we mentioned length is three feet and fitting equivalent length is about eight feet since there is one t eight feet we consider okay this t we can consider because this t was already considered uh, above so here eight feet and then the total will be eight plus three it will be total length will be 11 feet so now as i already told from friction loss formula we got this value now what we need to do if you multiply this total length 11 by 0 0.055 we are going to get 0 0.6 so this will be the friction loss and elevation elevation will be 1.3 psi how we got this one there is one formula for one feet elevation 0 0.433 psi will be the value so since we have uh, you know 3 feet 19 minus 16 we are getting 3 feet so for 3 feet if you multiply this with uh, 0 0.433 psi then we are going to get 1.3 and pt will be already i already discussed from the above it will be 12.8 so you need to remember all these things or at least if you have this example i believe uh, you can do any kind of calculation by keeping this in front of you okay so now we already got everything whatever we required finally what we are doing we are adding this pt plus pe plus pf since already this pt is from the above 3 so now we already got 12.8 now we will add with 1.3 and 0 0.6 so we are going to get 14.6 k equivalent at cm 3 so equivalent k now we required since here also we don't have any sprinkler so equivalent k we require for the calculation so equivalent k at cm3 will be same formula which we already used q divided by root p one more thing i think i missed in our earlier uh, steps as well this q is the total flow so here we have uh, 19.7 gpm now what we need to do we need to add this 19.7 gpm to the previous q which is about 18.9 so we are going to get 13 point, uh, 
6 GPM. Okay, so this one divided by root PT. PT is uh, we already have uh, here 12 pointed, so we will get 10.07. I hope you understand this uh, particular step. If you have any queries, you can ask uh, anytime via email or you can just mention your comments in the comment section.